so I am in full rescue mission mode, like not hitting a single thing. I need to find this little pup before he dies. Oh my God, I'm just panicking right now. One, two, three, four. Chasing dreams and 17. Say goodbye to everything in my rear view mirror, but I never thought it would lead me here. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Nine. I'm back here at Bear. I know you're thinking, how am I back at Bear when yesterday's video was at Bear? But yesterday's video was really a week ago and now I'm here again. And I'm ready for this sweet run that just opened. Check it out. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. No, I'm just kidding, the run's over there. Uh, but I want to come and start this off by saying hi. What's up, how are you doing? Happy like eighth day of Hanukkah maybe, I don't know, happy. 18 days till Christmas or something like that. I don't know. It's I think day nine. I have no idea what day it even is right now uh, When I post this this will be the ninth consecutive day of posting which is way better than I thought I was gonna do It's already like two o'clock. I had to stay in LA to like get some stuff uploaded for yesterday and I'm here at bear and The mountain's only open for like another hour. So I am going to take some runs and Yeah, I'll shut up now. Let's go ride I just got on the chair and realized that I lost my pygmy puff. I'm so sad, but I saw on the video where it fell off. So now I'm going to scavenger hunt and hopefully someone else hasn't stolen it. Cause that was like $11 to Universal Studios. That sucked. On the hunt, where's the puff? All right, I did not see my pygmy puff from the chair. So I am in full rescue mission mode, like not hitting a single thing. I need to find this little puff before he dies. I hope someone didn't steal it. Oh my God, I'm just panicking right now. I am now taking my rescue mission by foot. The problem with this keychain is that since it was a round ball, it could have rolled anywhere. I saw it rolling pretty fast in a little clip of the video that I had. So I have to search both sides of the run. Oh God, I really am gonna need to work out the kinks of my uh, keychain on the bindings trend because this is devastating. If I don't find a next run, I think I'm gonna be done for the day because I feel like bad things happen in threes and I've already had like every single time I try to hit a feature today, I get like cut off by someone. Then I lost my pygmy puff. That means like something else bad is about to happen and I really don't wanna take that chance so. Put more chair, try to find it, and then I guess I'm done. All right, I did not find my pygmy puff, but while I was looking for it, I found someone's insurance card in the snow, like the like health insurance card. So I'm gonna go to Lost Found and turn that in, and then hopefully someone turned in my puff. I don't have much hope for that, but like it would be really cool if someone turned it in. Lost Found. All right, went to security. I turned in that health insurance card, and they did not have pygmy puff. So. Pygmy Puff is officially gone. In the arms of the angel, I'm 
I'm just so bummed about it. Like, my mom bought that for me as an early Christmas gift when she visited the other week. And today was literally the first day that that keychain left my house. It's already gone. So sad. Well, <laughs> now that we've had our daily dose of tragedy, let's go somewhere a little more beautiful and do something positive. Check these little things out. You think these are apples? They're like so much smaller than apples. They came from that tree. I really want to eat one, but like, I don't want to get poisoned. I'll just smell it and see if I don't die. I want that one. That one. Yes, that's the one I wanted. Nice. Okay. Got a little red one. And are those little lemons? Wait, are these? Oh no, they're little, they're little golden apples. These have to be apples. They've got to be. All right, let me find a good one up here. Maybe I'll use my pole to knock some down. All right, here we go. Got my two apples. Oh, this one's kind of gross looking. Shoot. All right, whatever. Let's see if it tastes like an apple. I kind of feel like the early man, you know, like before like people knew what was food and what wasn't and they just had to discover it for themselves. All right, here we go. It tastes like an apple. I'm 95% confident that this is an edible apple and I'm not poisoning myself. Mmm. Mmm. That's really juicy. Alright, let's try the red one. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. This is for sure an apple. Oh, these are good. I'm gonna, uh, GPS mark this spot so I can come back and pick apples whenever I want. Alright. Let's go. All right, we've got this nice, beautiful sunset on the lake. I wanted to be happy, but yeah, you know, sunsets are all reflective, and I'm just thinking my poor pygmy puff still. <sighs> okay, well, to what this video was going to be about for today's Vlogmas theme. Today, I thought I would talk about the tricks that I want to learn this season. Not that, like, you guys need to know, but you might be interested, and for me, I can, like, look back at this and remember you know kind of like what my goals are for the season so hmm let's start with half pipe because i know that off the top of my head half pipe i'm not planning on learning any new tricks this winter i really want my knee to just be able to get comfortable and strong again but i do want to take the tricks that i have all of my threes all of my fives my backside 720 and i want them to all be consistently like four feet out of the pipe. That's the goal for that. Like every single spin I have, I want to be up at the same amplitude every time. I kind of want to get more comfortable doing cripplers. I still am scared of them and I want to get to the point where I go into them confidently and I'm not worried. I just know I have it and I can do it. Or that might be like way towards the end of the season because yeah, I want to put that off until I know my knee is strong enough. And then jumps, not really planning on learning any jump tricks this year because I don't even really want to risk jumping at all on my knee. For the first year after knee surgery, your knee is still at like really high risk for re-injury. So I feel like with jumps, there's a more of a probability of taking a deep landing or taking a short landing and having a lot of impact on my knee. So I don't really want to learn anything on jumps, but I do want to like hit a small size jump. That's going to be kind of my goal is to just like hit a jump at all this season. And then for rails, whoo, we've got a lot of tricks going on for the rail game. So let's see. First off, my board slide 270s. I really want like front board 270 consistent because I can do that, but it's not like every single time. So front board 270 consistent. Apparently, according to the video that I posted a couple days ago, I used to be able to do lip slide pretzel 270s. So I want to get those back. It'd be cool to do like switchboard slide 270 and maybe like a front board pretzel 270 i think those would be like four good 270s to know and then i want to have 360 out on rail consistent i also according to this video that i posted a couple days ago i used to be able to do front 360 out and back 360 out and i haven't done either of those in a hot minute so i want to get those consistent and i want to slide sideways through kinks i've always been too afraid to go sideways through a kink 
except one time when I was doing a photo shoot and I did a lip slide through a little kink just because I wanted the shot. But ever since then, I've been terrified. I only sacked up for the one photo. So I want to get sideways through kinks, either from board or board slide or lip slide or switch board slide. It really doesn't matter. What else could I do? Oh, I want to get backside 180 on on rails because I do that on tubes a lot, but I don't ever do backside 180 onto rails. So that is another one I want. Yeah, those are my tricks for the season that I want to get. I feel like that's a pretty good list to pick off from. So yeah, you'll see me working on those pretty soon. Maybe I'll try a couple tomorrow. I'm gonna wear my knee brace tomorrow. I didn't have it on today. All right, well, this is probably enough time for a little vlog this episode. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some food to cook dinner for my friend whose house I'm staying at. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Life isn't perfect. It's messy and unexpected, but it's wonderful. You can find love, magic, and beauty all around you if you chase after it. So find what lights your soul up and go out and carpe your happy.